Welcome back everybody, my name is BlockRation and today we're going to be taking a look at a adjustable vending machine. This vending machine is quite easy to use. You just put in your payment, whatever you set it to, in this dropper right here. And that has to be one payment. Then we just hit the button and we get the adjusted amount of items that you can configure in the machine out of the vending machine and right here you can select which items you want to get so I had melons right here but I can also uh, get like uh, 32 redstone now when I click the button I get 32 redstone and it's not the fastest one but it's decently fast and that's what matters. But now we're going to get our 32 redstone and as you can see it's exactly uh, 32. I have seen some vending machine designs where there are three, uh, 33 or something but I like to have the half a stack or uh, a very precise amount. This vending machine uses a 8 item selector in front from redstone for dummies and I'll put his video in the description down below. But right here we can see it and all the time there's one redstone piece unpowered and this is just going to unpower a hopper. And on the other side we have another line of redstone that is going to be turned off by a piston right here or a ether hopper clock which is going to activate when we get a um, diamond through this item sorter as you can see the, here's the output then it goes into here updates the piston with this normal piston which is going to start the hopper clock and release the hoppers which is going to send out the items down here and into these droppers which are powered by a pulse extender which goes into a very fast comparator clock which just goes into the droppers. To build this vending machine we're going to need a 12 by 5 by 6 area and we're going to start with our dropper, our insert dropper on the second block from the left on the fourth block and on the third block is going to be our floor level and out of that we're going to have a hopper chain five uh, hoppers long just like that and right here we're going to put in our item sorter so below the third hopper we're going to place in our uh, comparator then uh, extend the signal with a three redstone dust go underneath the second redstone dust place a, a repeater and a block and next to that powering the uh, block with a repeater on top is a redstone torch then just place in two uh, more hoppers then get yourself a chest and place it wherever you want the last hopper has to face into that chest now we're going to set up our hopper timer and for that we're going to get a output from this block with a redstone torch lead that into two repeaters set on one tick which are going to face into a block with a piston on the face of uh, that block next to the block we're going to place another block with redstone on top and a sticky piston on the side of that redstone. Powering that redstone is a comparator which is going to be reading two hoppers that face into each other and the same thing on the other side. But on this side we have to have a normal piston just like that. And then finally place in a redstone block and to set the timer we're going to use half of the items that we want to get dispensed. So for instance, if we want to get 16 items dispensed, 
if we uh, put one item of payment in, we want to have eight, uh, eight of stackable items right here. We're going to do our item selector, so our eight-way item selector. For that, we're going to build a three by three panel right here. And from the center block, we're going to take a output with a comparator, which is going to lead into eight redstone, uh, no nine, just like that, with one more on the end, like this. Then next on the side of that, on the left side, we're going to have a slab above the second hopper with redstone on top, then another comparator, but this one set to compare and a torch that is going to power this comparator then a block behind uh, which is going to be powered by the comparator and then just more redstone just like this and a slab right here and connect these two beams and we should have this not powered on and if we put a item frame right here with a arrow, I like to have a arrow to point out the stuff. But now we can see this is not powered, but every other aspect is powered. If we shift that one, this one is not powered. And this is just rotating and you can select your items by that. Then we can put in the eight other item frames. And these are going to be your items. So you can now already put in your items that you want to be vending. We're now going to be working on the dispensing system. And for that we are going to place in a dropper right here. Which is going to face into a other dropper that is going to spit out the items for us. We want to connect these with uh, hoppers just like that. Run them until this last redstone. And then just put hoppers, two hoppers facing into those lower hoppers on top of those. And then from the behind we want to count 10 and put chests on top. And these have to be alternating chests and trap chests. So you can configure each item with uh, their own chest just like that. And if you want more storage, you can always expand these to double chests. Just, uh, no, not to double chests, but you can put double chests on top, just like this. There's, and they always have to be alternating, just like that. Then, we can already put in our redstone line, just like that. And... I'll put in a redstone dust right here with a repeater powering that, that. Now we are going to put in the last bit of redstone. And for that we want to place a redstone torch on this block. Then get a signal out with a redstone dust. Which is going to lead into a too high torch tower. Which is going to be powering this redstone line. And so we have an even amount of numbers. We want to have a two tick repeater right here that is going to lead into a block which will power a uh, sticky piston, that's the word, which is going to have the signal turned off a little bit longer. Then we can also put in a torch right here and then have a signal extender right here just like that with redstone here and two redstone on this side then also take a output with a repeater that is going to go into a comparator clock and you have to set this comparator onto sub um, compare no subtract mode and then just run a line into this repeater then you can also add your items, so for example, if we want redstone components, just like that, we're going to use these. So our first item is going to go into this uh, upper right corner, and this is going to be our first double chest. 
Then the second item is going to be our second double chest and so forth and so on. I'm just going to put in the items manually just like that so we can test it. And then we just have to add a button right here. Then select the item we want. So we want redstone and now everything thing should work. So this is kind of embarrassing. I forgot something and that is we also have to configure this sorting system. So just uh, swipe along with your items just like that and then put 40 more in and now you should could see that if we put another item in it will get sucked out and the system will activate and we will get our redstone dispensed. Now uh, we can pick this up and it should be 17 yes because I had one in the inventory before and right here uh, there should be 84 uh, no 48 then we can also pick comparators throw this one away uh, and maybe put a item in just like that And now you can see we get 16 comparators. And just to prove that this will not work with any item, we can put in a chest right there. And this is just going to go into this junk chest I added in the first clip. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll have a tutorial for my missile defense and my two-way minecart station in maybe uh, on Wednesday, maybe on Saturday, I don't know yet. But anyway, that's it for today and I hope to see you all in the next video.